If you decide to set up a limited company, then you and any employees all have to pay income tax and national insurance contributions based on your salaries. But companies also have to pay corporation tax on top of this, which is calculated on the overall taxable income and profits. Zora Suleiman has been finding out how this works. Victoria Lynch goes to extraordinary lengths to sell her hair extensions. Since starting her mail order business from home in 2003, she's opened a successful shop, a salon and a training school. And she's about to expand even further into beauty and cosmetics. Fortunately though, she's also got a good head for business too. The best thing that's happened to me is obviously being recognised for what I have achieved. Started from scratch, from home in a bedroom, um, trying to establish where I was going to get the products made, etc. And then to actually be recognised with awards is a great achievement. I myself do the day-to-day -day accounts in the company and I find it easier at the end of the year to give the data from the account system to the accountant to finalise the year-end accounts because there is deadlines that need to be a day or two. After a few years of being self-employed, Victoria decided to start trading as a limited company, liable for corporation tax. She worked this out based on the taxable profits made during the accounting period, which in her case was 12 months. She then had nine months and a day from the end of that accounting period to pay the tax due. And remember, you need to make your payment within this period or you'll be charged interest. And your company tax return for this payment mustn't be in any later than a year after the end of the accounting period. If this all sounds a little bit complicated, there is a useful section on this website that'll help you get to grips with the basics of corporation tax. And remember, you must let HM Revenue and Customs know in writing if you want somebody else to act on your behalf. And there is a form you can download for this as well. This is Zora Suleiman reporting from Stockton-on-Tees.